For our warm-up today, we will sketch a tomato slice using an HB pencil. Let's add some shading and details this time. Here's my demonstration. Using our sketching hold and our whole arm, we're going to swirl in three ovals just to place the tomatoes, and then switch over to the writing hold and correct the contour line. They're not real difficult shapes for this one. And then you can erase your extra lines. Then I'm just going to draw some of the inside shapes using my writing hold. I see the inner stem and then the dark part and then the little seeds. And that's all I'm going to worry about as far as shapes go. Well, I am going to add the line for the skin where that comes around. Then we're going to add three layers of tone, a medium, a dark, and a light. For the medium, take your HB pencil and just sweep in some medium pressure tone on the flesh of the tomato and on the seeds. Then take your layout pencil and fill in the very dark areas that you see. And then lastly, take your 2H pencil and just lightly fill in the lightest areas because there really is no white on here. And then we're going to take the layout pencil and just throw in a little drop shadow on the bottom just so it doesn't look like the tomatoes are floating. Today's lesson is on the importance of your stroke when you render. When you fill in areas with your chosen medium, the direction of your stroke can greatly affect the overall feeling of your composition. I'll show you some examples. Areas filled in with a vertical stroke convey a feeling of calmness, like a gentle rain is falling. A horizontal stroke will widen the area and move the eye from left to right. A diagonal stroke creates a tense, stormy feeling, like the rain is falling hard with a wind coming in. A curvy stroke leads the viewer's eye around the composition and moves with the curves. Your exercise today will be to record your observations on two different paintings by Vincent van Gogh, who boldly used his brush strokes to convey his feelings. Here are the paintings. When you fill out your worksheet, you can use the images on this video for observation. Here's the first one, and we can see he used all curved strokes in just about every element of this picture, from the clouds right down to the grass and the trees, and it creates a very turbulent feeling in the picture. However, in this one, the, there's a lot of horizontal lines and vertical lines, and it creates a much calmer, much more peaceful feeling. As we take the next step in our parrot project, let's think about the direction of our stroke. As we fill in some basic tones on the parrot, the direction and length of our stroke can add a lot to the texture and movement of the drawing. Since the parrot has a lot of curved lines, we can fill it in with strokes that follow the contour. Let's get started. 